In this lesson, I will gonna teach you about the understanding and using of grep command in Linux environment. I will also drive you through the practical overview session where we will use some basic set of commands to the advanced level to know how to work and use grep command. Let's continue. Hello everyone, welcome to Decode ITES. This is a single learning platform for multiple IT infrastructure technologies. Do like, share and subscribe our channel to never miss out our videos. Let's continue with the learning. Let's have a small introduction of myself. My name is Prince Berg. I'm having three plus years of work experience and worked on Red Hat, VMware, Windows, Google Cloud, PowerShell, Python and Bash script. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn and reach out to us on ites1.com. So the first question arises is what is grep command? The grep command is used to search text in Linux environment. Also, it searches the given data under the file name for lines containing a match to the given strings or words under the command. It is one of the most useful command on the Linux and Unix like system. The name grep derives from the command used to perform a similar operation under environment using the Linux or Unix text tag data ed where we can use the options g slash re slash p the grep utilities are a family that includes grep egrep and fgrep for searching duties for files for most uses you need to use fgrep command as it is the fastest and the only look into the strings and words However, typing grep is easy. It's your personal choice that you are considering grep, fgrep or egrep. Now the syntax of grep command. The syntax of grep command is grep space word you are looking for or you want to search for and then the file name. The fgrep is the word to search and then the file name or file.txt. If you want to search a particular word under multiple files, you can mention grep, the word you are looking for and then the file names. If you want to search for multiple strings in the file name, you can use grep string1, string2 and the file name. If you want to grep something out from another file, you can use cat other file name and then the grep command using a pipe. We have already discussed how pipe is working in our previous lessons. If you want to filter out the output of any command, you can use that command along with the pipe, grep and the something you are looking for. Now we come with the options. If you are using a command with the options, you can also use the same method for using grep and the data you are looking for to filter out the output. Grep minus minus color is a very interesting thing where if you are looking for a keyword like data, it will list out uh, the, all the lines and color out the data letter on them. If you are looking for the particular patterns, you can use grep minus options, then the pattern and the file name. The last one is fgrep. fgrep along with the options and the word you are looking for and the file. So the standard uh, grep command examples are like uh, we have listed some of the basic set of examples which you must know before working with them. The first one is searching for any line that contains the word in file name on Linux. Performing a case insensitive search for the word in Linux and Unix environment. Looking for all the files in the current directory and all of its subdirectories in Linux for a specific word. We are going to use minus uppercase R for recursive mode. The last one is searching and displaying the total number of times that the string appears in a file name. We are going to use minus C which is for word count. Let's have a practical overview session of them. Line that contains the word in a file name on Linux. 
so as per the syntax we will gonna use that then the word we are looking for like ro then the file name i'm using here the file etc pass wd if you can see it's mentioning all the lines containing ro containing both the two letters in the file let's move to the next example so let's take a look at the next example of graph command which is how to use graph recursively so like uh, as we are having hostname file you can see that uh, i am having localhost.local .local domain over here let's copy this file if you can see i have created two if you can see i have created two demo copies of hostname file as host1 and host2 let's work towards the command it's grep we're going to use minus r which is to recursive mode and then let's say um local host which we're going to search for and another directory etc as you can see we are having multiple files containing local host under them pam underscore env.conf the cl0000 file and also the cl file cockpit.socket file kdump and here you can see host1 and host2 as well so by this method you can uh, search for a specific letter or keyword in the whole directory so the next example is how you can force grep to ignore word case like uh, to search an in case sensitive mode for this let's uh, add it some files if you can see i'm mentioning local host over here okay and it's in the upper case and we are having multiple files under etc directory which containing the letter localhost in the lower case as we have already seen so let's send the command grep minus i is for in case sensitive and then the letter localhost and then slash etc we need to mention minus r as well okay so if you can see we are having the file etc host over here and it's searching for the upper case and lower case both if we will remove minus i from the command then it will going to search for lower case letters only the next example is how can i count the line when words have been matched like uh, the graph can report the number of times that the pattern has been matched for each file using minus c which is the count option let's use that grep minus c and we are also going to use minus r for recursive mode for multiple outputs and then local host and then etc if you can see it's listing all the files and under the cockpit file is having only one time separated the whole local host so under this file as we have already seen we are having multiple entries by the name local host let's give it a try you can see it's showing three so the local host letter uh, was repeated under this file three times uh, so that's all for the today and i hope you have understood how to use the grep command and what is grep command in the linux environment we'll continue with the learning of some more text based tools in our coming videos if you are having any queries you can reach out to us on itsfund.com community as well thank you